But our top story this half hour, that deadly blast of winter, at least 16 deaths are blamed on the huge and powerful snowstorms that barreled through the Northeast. Now comes the unprecedented cold. Temperatures are expected to plunge well below freezing with sub-zero wind chill readings expected over the next few days across half the nation. Let's go to Lonnie Quinn, chief meteorologist at WCBS-TV here in New York for more on the cold and snow. Lonnie, I want to complain, and I feel like so many of us want to complain. Then you look at Boston, and you realize it could be worse. You betcha. Boston took the brunt of this storm. But what I want to do, take a look at the whole country right now, Vanita. Anthony, good morning. You guys, and good morning, everybody. Much quieter picture than what we had yesterday. However, this little system that you see right around Minneapolis, it is going to bring winter storm warnings from anywhere around the thumb of Michigan all the way to portions of Arkansas. But the story remains that big blizzard that plagued the northeastern seaboard. Let's go there right now because what's going on? No more snow out of it. My goodness, that, that system is now way out around Gre Greenland. But on the back side of these systems, think about it, counterclockwise spin, that brings in all this freezing cold air from the north. You are 19 degrees below zero to start off in Bangor, Maine, Albany 12 below, New York is five degrees, Boston three degrees, and now you tack on a little bit of the wind on the back side. You are feeling like 21 in Bangor, feeling like 17 below in Albany, feeling like 13 below in Boston, three below for that morning cold feels like temperature in New York City. Washington, D.C., it eh, feels like about five degrees to start off your day. Now, you did have some snow on the front lawn of the White House, but the big snowfall around the Boston area, picking up one to two feet of snow. Then you get into northern New England, and it stretches all the way down to New York City, where you picked up six inches to maybe a foot higher elevations, had more, and then about three to six inches as you push south. Now, what's interesting, guys, to note about snowpack, it's like putting ice into a cooler. It keeps the air cold around it. So this is a player as well in why those temperatures are so cold. I will tell you, you warm up a bit on, for Sunday for the eastern seaboard. It's Tuesday of next week. The temperatures will be colder than they are right now. So uh, you go up, you go down, and it's going back down again big time. Guys, over to you. Anthony? One degree when I got in the car this morning, Lon. And, yeah. I, and, and actually, that's probably pretty good for the Northeast. Better, you betcha. <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. You bet.